What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Space Knight Venom Build-A-Figure Waves Hobgoblin. If you're trying to pick this up, you will be able to get it up in the big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big thanks again xman 87 for making sure I got a hold of this wave. If you're not following him on Instagram, you can do so by checking the link below. He takes really good pictures, and I really like this figure just by looking at it in the packaging, as you may have seen from the unboxing video it did. Uh, anyway, you can see on the side right there, he's the running change with Electro. Then on the back, you can see both figures. There's a read-up in multiple languages. Here's all the figures from the wave. Then on this side, we get the Hobgoblin. And then on the top, of Spider-Man logo. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Hobby out of the packaging. And not a bad figure. I'm going to say I like this figure while at the same time saying I'm a little bit underwhelmed by it. Now, it does not come with two pumpkin bombs. This one came with the Phil Yurik Hobgoblin figure, so I'm glad that they reused used that weapon and they included it with this guy as well. Uh, we do have the Toy Biz Hobgoblin. Uh, for those of you who did not pick up that Toy Biz Hobgoblin, I guess this is going to be a pretty good one to pick up for you. Uh, but I still like that older Hobgoblin figure, so that's why I feel a little bit underwhelmed. But there are definitely things about this figure that I really do like. Now depending on the artist, Hobgoblin has different color faces. I've just looked up a bunch of pictures and some of them have him with this greenish color like we're seeing over here. Then others have him with the more orange color face. So seeing the two Two side by side right there. You know, I, I do like this head sculpt a lot more. I don't know if you could tell, but his left eye is actually raised a little bit over here. Then the paint on his right eye is a little bit more to the right than it should be, so that's a little off the mark. And it really is the sculpted work right here where this is shifted up, so it's not a paint problem. That's just really how it was made. That right there is definitely a paint problem. So, yeah, it didn't come out as good as I had hoped. And I do like the shadowing effect with this wash that we're getting over the orange. I think that looks really good. We don't have that kind of wash on the Toy Biz one. The cape looks really nice over here too, I like how it's all tattered and everything. Now the cool thing about this figure is that you get two head sculpts, so if you want your multiple hobgoblins, you can. Like for instance, I'll refer to this one as my Roderick Kingsley hobgoblin. You can pop this off and then put on the Jason McIndale one. This one looks really cool. A little bit of pink on his teeth right over there, but the tongue looks pretty nice and the eyes look okay. You know, it's kind of hard to pick up. A lot of sculpted lines in there, so it's supposed to be kind of scary. Not as scary as this one, though, from the Toy Biz. Ooh, man. Uh, I'm going to take the head off, and big thanks to John 3.0 for this one, but yeah. Whew. That one's a lot freakier looking. If you want to put a Commander Rogers head on there, it will work, and then you could have your Ned Leeds Hobgoblin. But looking at the rest of the body, we get this different color orange right over here, and I believe this is from the Doctor Strange figure. And this is all new limbs right over here. I really do like the metallic blue. That came out really nice, especially because it holds up in the joints also. As I bend the joint in, you can see we still get more metallic blue underneath. So that is great. Nice wrinkles over here. And the satchel looks really good. I think that's pretty nice. I like all the stitching and everything, all the natural wrinkles, nice silver paint apps around here. Nice belt. You can shift that around as you like. The legs look very solid. I really like this mesh. You know, you can totally tell that they're going to use this for a new Green Goblin figure. And I like the boots right over here. Nice wrinkles throughout. And he does have peg holes. Now, I don't really have many gripes about the articulation. You can get him looking up, which is pretty cool. Uh, looking at the Toy Biz one, he could actually look up pretty far as well. So that's pretty cool. It, didn't, it looks like maybe this one a little bit more so. Anyway, you can get the head turning side to side. And you do get a little bit of head pivot in there if you'd like. His shoulders only move outward that far. Far, uh, but you can move them down pretty well, and they do move forward. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and the wrist moves side to side, and they hinge up and down. He has a good ab crunch, moves forward that much, and moves back a little bit further. He has a waist swivel, nice T jointed hips where they move outward that far, and then he can kick forward quite a bit. Uh, can't, oh yeah, moves back pretty far too. He has an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankles move down. Up oh, and he does have ankle pivot. Now to measure Hobby over here, you can see that he is standing at a little over six and a half inches. And then for your Hobgoblin comparison, here's the Hasbro version compared to the Toy Biz version. There's things I like about each of these and there's things I dislike about each of them. Like for instance, the pumpkin bomb on the Toy Biz one is not removable. I do love the metallic blue on this one. 
one. I like the head sculpt more on this one compared to that one. Uh, there's just things to choose from. And I like both of their capes, but they're very different from each other. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which one of these two do you prefer? Then for your Mackendale comparison, here we have the Mackendale Hobgoblin compared to the Toy Biz version. And I always liked this one a lot more because it was just so freaky looking. One of my very first comic books I remember getting was a Spider-Man issue with this guy on the cover. And I remember it was scary and I wanted it. And then transforming him back into his Kingsley mode, we have the new Hobgoblin compared to the Phil Yurick Build-A-Figure Hobgoblin. And then here's our new Hobgoblin compared to the Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. And even though this figure is shorter than the Toy Biz version, seeing these two side by side looks really good. And here's Hobgoblin next to the other figures from the wave that I've already reviewed. And then here's Hobgoblin next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Woohoo, you ugly! Huh? <laughs> now you really ugly. And then here's a Hasbro Hobgoblin up on the Toy Biz Hobgoblin's glider. And doesn't that look so much better? And not only is this bigger, but it has articulated smoke over here. So yeah, they did a really good job with this piece. It's not a bad Hobgoblin figure. It's really not. So if you missed out on the Toy Biz one, yeah, go ahead and grab this. You'll be happy with it. But as for me, I'm going to keep this as my Roderick Kingsley Hobgoblin. This will stay as my Jason McIndale Hobgoblin. And then that's my Ned Leeds right there. The man who stole the heart of Betty Brant. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did please hit the like button click any of the boxes popping up over here for more shart in your face if you have not yet hit the subscribe button please do so by clicking that red box right up over there and then my last two videos were the ultimate spider-man yes we have the peter parker spider-man right over there and then miles morales spider-man right over there if you have not seen those videos if you're not following me on the social media go ahead and check me out on facebook twitter and instagram and you can find a photo gallery of images over at marvelousnews.com i'll catch you guys later Peace! Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hewish kind of color. Just, ah, damn it.